Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lawrence Attempts to Commit Genocide Against the Alien Menace. So in the um, recent episodes I've been um, trying to claim this area down here and with varying levels of success should we say. So um, in the first couple of first couple of attempts it went really badly because I was just going in with the normal bullet weapons and cars and basic turrets and trying to do things like run in circles around the, um, around the biter nest, pink plinking them with the machine gun which was fairly ineffective. They have better weapons than I do. I also tried the um, building out a series of turrets to do a bit of turret creep towards them and trying to get them that way. And to be honest, that wasn't much better. Uh, they out also outranged my turrets, so they were able to shoot the t shoot uh, shoot at, shoot at and take out the turrets from um, significantly further away than I was able to uh, try and take than I was able to shoot at them myself. So yeah, that wasn't really going very well. I then, after that, I then um, built up the the whole um, gas processing facility up here, and this allowed me to start producing plastic and sulphur. And this had a couple of um, convenient bonuses. One of the th one of the advantages was I was able to start building cliff explosives and therefore blow up some of the cliffs that were in the way. And also, I finally managed to make a couple of these. I think they're in here. Yes, these plasma cannons, um, and these these have a much longer range than the uh, bullet turrets, and that allowed me to take out the um, the enemy nests from a safe let's say from, from a safe distance without getting in in to within bullet range and getting everything destroyed. So that's been going quite well. Um, to be honest, it's been I say it's been going quite well. It has. It, I've had I've had some successes, as you can see up here. I completely destroyed this base up here. Um, but unfortunately, while I was doing it, I built out a bit too far this way, and as you can see down here, there's a fair amount of destroyed um, belts and walls, damaged walls and so on, a load of dead biters here. Because I I um, drove the construction vehicle a bit too far in, it started building up the wall here. I got a lot of bots destroyed. Things just generally didn't go quite so well at that point. So, whilst in theory most it was mostly going quite well, there are a couple of sort of tweaks to the implementation that are required, should we say. So I'm going to clear some space out here. What I plan to do now... Um, what's the range on that? Okay. What I'm going to do is keep the um, the construction vehicle up far, far enough up that it's not going to try and build any of this wall area, wall section up. But I am going to have it build these turrets because it's going to be a lot easier to do this by bot than by hand. If I build a nice solid wall of them like this, then hopefully I'll be able to get that up. That will that will defend against any biters that notice me and come running up. And then I can drop the plasma turrets in at the top here. And fire over the top of the um, of the bots in order to take everything out. Now the only problem with this is I, I left the bots clearing up all the turrets after my previous um, attempt at this sort of thing up here, and so they're all trying to they've all got flat batteries now and they're trying to recharge off the um, off my uh, oh that's why it's so slow. I've run out of fuel for the um, for the generator in the in the construction vehicle. Grab some coal like that. This generator gets through fuel incredibly quickly. Oh look at that. And okay, granted, it's powering a lot of bots while it's doing it, but and it's and at this point, the reason it's going through it so quickly is because it's trying to charge this back up again. Now that's charged, it's going to be reduced to just the rate it, the bots need refuel it, refu uh, recharging. Still, it's um yeah, still quite a big job. At some point, I'll get better generators for my uh, construction vehicle, but that's still some way off, I think. You know what? I should be using all of this wood I'm picking up to, to power it. That would be a good that would be a good use of it, wouldn't it? So let's go over here, back into this. Start filling that up with wood. It's not like I've got much else to do with this out here. Although that said, in Angel Bobs, the wood is a bit more useful than it is in vanilla. Um, in vanilla, you, you, at this point in the game, the wood is absolutely absolutely useless. You, best case is you chuck it in a box, shoot it until it blows up. That is, I mean, you you can burn it in uh, in um, furnaces and things, but it's it's hardly worth it because there are so many better alternatives. In Angel Bobs, there are other things you can use the wood for, so it's not quite so pointless still. Ah, oh, the wonderful bot ballet. Right, is that enough? Probably. Yes, I think if I try and go much further, I'm going to risk waking the uh, the biters up. So, okay, let's shove in a couple of plasma turrets and see what happens. Put one in, what sort of... Now, these aren't actually, these aren't going to quite reach the um, the nests, are they? Well, maybe they are just almost. See how this goes. That one's definitely taking damage. Let's risk putting the other one in a bit further along by this... Sounds like the biters have noticed and they're coming in to attack. Right, put that there. And that can start popping off shots at those. I hope it's yeah, good. It's not going to actually reach the other biter um, biter base because that's that'll be bring a bit more um, attention on me than I'm quite ready for at the moment. I think. 
Can you hit that one? Yes, you can. Excellent. How are we doing on that? So there's one spawner left. I've taken out all the worms by the looks of it. That, do you think it's worth risking going down there with a machine gun and trying to take them out? I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I'm brave or foolhardy enough. Because there's quite a lot of biters still. Maybe I'll, um, I'll risk a turret instead of risking myself. Put that there. Well, I'll wait for it to that biter to get killed first. No work. I'm going to keep a very close eye on this because if it gets attacked, I need to pull it up straight away because these things are expensive and were difficult to get. So I don't want to... Oh, okay, it's done. Awesome. Okay, now I can go back to just placing this sort of blueprint down every so often. How close do I dare get to that one? Probably not very. Let's, yeah, let's keep up the sort of the I'm in danger levels of um, building at the moment because I think I'm very soon going to get noticed by that base down there and they're not going to be happy. I don't know if the rest of you noticed that. I just saw a biter scuttle past at the top, the top of the screen. So I am currently fighting a war on two fronts. There's a second front up there. Let's see. I'd have to put a plasma turret about about there to take out the whole base in one go. I wonder if I, if I put a turret about here. I don't know what sort of what sort of range they notice things over. These ones were spotting them from about here. That's so where I use the highly scientific method of yeah, of putting my hand on the screen and going yeah about that sort of distance. <laughs> okay, let's run a belt up from here Oops, like that. Okay, how am I going to how am I going to do if this this is my firing line? Not well enough. Needs to be at least here to start with, I think. It's about get rid of all of that. Put a firing line about there. I'm going to need a gap in the middle here to put the, um, the big turret. Okay, let's see how this goes. Good, they haven't noticed. So now what I need to do is wait until the bots, uh, sorry, wait until the, yeah, wait until all the turrets are fully armed. So now, about now. And then we can put in the plasma turret and unleash hell, or at least cause some havoc like that. They don't seem to be very good at noticing where the um, the plasma shots come from, which is quite interesting. They do start to move around a bit and get slightly triggered, but, but they don't come charging forwards the way they do when they normally when they get attacked by something. I wonder if that's a, a glitch in the AI or something that's not been programmed in properly because it's part of the mod. Come on, you can hit those worms. All right, let's get the other one. It's um having a problem due to the sheer quantity of the uh, enemies out there. Get on there. More like it. Can anyone hit that? Somebody has, because it's, it's damaged. Come on, one more. One more. Yeah. Great. Now I can just get the bots to demolish the whole thing. Actually, I might do the belt by hand, because it takes them a long time to do this sort of stuff, because there's so much, so many items to pick up. Fresh should be all right there. In fact, I wonder if I can pick these up with the bots. Yes. Cool. Right, how brave am I over here? That's the next question. I think I need to just keep putting these turrets in until they get noticed and attacked, and then upgrade, put the plasma turrets in at that point. So like that. Not going to get that far, I'm sure. How's the uh, generator doing? Oh, it's okay. I think there's a mod called Closest First, which tells the bots to um, always pick up the closest thing that they've been told to pick up, rather than going off and grabbing them at random or at whatever order they feel like doing them in. Uh, and that just generally speeds things up because you can drive around and be a bit more efficient with the whole thing. But I clearly haven't got that installed, judging by the way these things are doing, <laughs> doing it at the moment. And with this level of um, ro robots, it's probably going to be a lot more effective to do it that way. Oh well, kind of everything. I've already got a lot of mods installed, so <laughs> yeah. I'll just try and stay near the sort of the densest area of what the bots are trying to deal with. Ooh, crunch. Okay, about that level. That'll get me the... T I mean, I'll get all the turrets, but won't be, having, won't be faffing around with dragon's teeth. Am I starting to run out of turrets again? Got lots of... No, there's 50 snipers there, and there's loads of... No, I've got loads of turrets left. Okay. I will start pulling these up, though. How many... How many is there room for in there? Two, four, six, eight... Hmm, seven. Okay. All right, let's take six out each time. Because I don't need so many turrets in areas like this which have already been pacified. I don't think. I only need that sort of level of turret density when it's an active war zone where the, the enemies are actually pouring in to attack. So I think at this point it should be perfectly safe. Yeah, further back it should be perfectly safe to just have these the pairs every so often. And we've not had... I don't think we've had too much bother from, ex from biters expanding to be honest. It's all been me expanding into their territory or areas like this where there's been a nest there that I've just never dealt with because it's been 
too difficult or too dangerous. Uh, so there doesn't seem the fighter expansion seems to be fairly low. I don't know whether that's because I've set it that way in the game settings or whether it's just I'm not producing that much pollution. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, the pollution there isn't that much pollution drifting outside the limits of my factory yet. There, yeah, sure, there's some, but it's not it's not too bad. So that might be why I'm not getting too much fighter expansion and attacks from the areas that I've already already cleared. Oops. Oh, spotted. Come on, turrets. Do your thing. Only some of them are in range. Uh, belt didn't get built first. Okay. Right, things are under under control now, I think. Okay. Uh, what? That? that? Okay, I've got in, it limited my um, range on that. <clears throat> I think I can put this one in here. That's probably going to work quite well. Just get rid of all the trees. Yeah, that's working well. I don't know if I've got the range to get all of them. Well, maybe I can... Yeah, a couple of stray shots over there. I should get rid of those ones. <laughs> It'd be nice to have a, um, a solid wall of these plasma turrets all the way around the uh, entire base. But I think I probably can't build that many of them, unfortunately. Are we done? I think we're done. That was... Yeah, that was nice and easy. Next one is dead ahead of the the, um, the line of the wall, which is... I don't know. doesn't really matter. Where's... Oh, there it is. I feel like I should put some of this ammunition back onto the belt, because I'm carrying an awful lot of it around now. Um, <laughs> and that's obviously a waste. Priority left, and then we need power for that. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Could have put it anywhere, but no. Of course it was in the wrong place. Right, that'll work nicely. Um, let's get back to the construction vehicle. I don't know how many walls I've got left. Can I build up the um, dragon's teeth all the way along, or am I just not going to have enough walls for it? I'm going to run out almost immediately. Uh, let's see. I've got 150. That's not very many. The way I get through them for this sort of thing. Okay, well, let's get all that built up anyway. And um, it does feel a bit overkill, actually, now I, now I look at it. This, the wall as it is. Especially given that by the time I get any attacks on them, the, 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 the attacks are coming in in little dribs and drabs that aren't too dangerous. So let's let's forget the, um, forget the dragon's teeth idea. At least... Let's not forget it completely, actually. Let's just have three rows like that. There we go. If I take that out, and then I'll copy the... Oh, I, I see why I had the... Um, why the uh, pylons were going down a little bit too close together. It's because I was um, aligning them to the turrets, which makes sense. And I just have the one blueprint. No, I'm still going to need that. No, I'm not. Right, so I'll make another blueprint, copy that, and... Alright, here we go. Time to set up a, another front line, I think. Oh, I can't see the range on here. Um, oh, no. I could put up a, a line, a belt going straight up here, through this area. It'd be a bit, it'd be a bit on the limit of the range, though. And I'd be worried about creeping with the plasma turrets, which I'm trying not to do too much. Um, what I'm going to do is that, I think. And then I'm going to need to build the wall round to meet it as well. I should put the wall... Oh, there it is. That'll do. Build up the first couple of layers of wall anyway. And that's all I really need. So, is that any use? Are you out of big power poles? Okay, I'm going to need to head back to the main base for a restock fairly soon. I've run out of big power poles. I've run out of... I'm running low on wall section. I'm okay on turrets, actually, which is the usual thing I run out of first. There's only a couple of spawners in this... Yes, that's not too bad. That's not as dangerous as a lot of them have been, Sandy. Get some space here. Whack another plasma turret in here. But be ready to grab it if it looks like it's going south. One more shot onto this spawner. Yeah, there we go. Now I've basically won. They can't they can't spawn in any more um, critters. So let's just pick them off until they're all gone. And then this worm up here, please. Excellent. What's that red patch on the map? Um, oh, okay. Maybe that's just somewhere I don't know about yet. Good. Get rid of that. And um, no, I'll do it by hand, and by hand, manually. That's the word I'm looking for. I might have been a bit overly cautious with that wall there, but um, you know, I'm always worried about having a massive sudden attack from coming through from the biters. So I wanted to be kept a bit, a little bit more cautious than, than I might otherwise have been. Okay, I think if I can now, oh, I'm going to run out of pylons, aren't I? That's not the end of the world. I mean, why can't I put that there? Oh, because they're already there. That's right. I probably don't need the pylons any further along here. Because I've got, I've got all the, um, I've killed all the enemies with the plasma turret using my plasma turrets, and that's about the only thing that requires power. 
Although I am going to need to come down here with radar again as well. That's something it needs doing. Can I build radars? I'm only the Mark 1s. My out of electronic. Do I have any in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'll, yeah, make some more electronics boards and some radars and stuff and then um, see how it goes from there. Another stack of wood. Not sure if I've got any cliff explosives left either. And just run it out into the sea. There we go. Oh yeah, I've got four. That's good. Oh, alright, I am going to have a bit more combat. <laughs> hadn't noticed that one. They're a bit too close for comfort. Oh, and there's a little um, colony out on this island here. They're not going to go far, are they? So once I've done that, that's pretty good. I've now got this wall going all the way along the bottom here. Okay, it's not quite peaceful inside. In fact, it's not It's not sealed. I need to come up here and close this bit off. But, and there's this, and then there's these ones. They need to do a bit of tidying up inside as well. But mostly that's gone pretty well. I'm um, aware I've been doing a lot of combat in my, uh, play, in my uh, Let's Play recently. It's, um, yeah, it's been one of those sort of, I guess the point is every so often you do need to do a load of, um, expanding and that requires a lot of shooting especially when you're at this sort of stage of the game where the the biters do kind of out out have do are, are more effective than you really no, I'm out of walls clearly um, I've got no, I've got 16 <laughs> they can go out too how close are we to them a bit too close yeah where the walls going it's definitely going to get too close to those um those spitters down there and they're going to, they're going to attack so I'm going to go back and and make sure I'm properly equipped to deal with them before I uh, build everything out that way and just end up wasting enormous amounts of ammunition taking pot shots at them. Especially given that I can't build the plasma cannons out this far because I don't have the power. Still, I feel like I've done more successful biter hunting in that half hour or so that I've been playing so far than in almost all of the other episodes to date. Those plasma cannons are amazing. Oh, I didn't quite time that right, but it's close enough. It's more thermal water here as well. I still don't really know what that's for. But I might, it might be a useful resource at some point in the future. I suppose I should clear this up as well while I'm passing. I might be being a little bit premature here, really, given that I haven't finished off those other um, biter nests inside this wall, um, inside the new loop of wall. But, yeah, it could be useful. And I've got a decent amount of firepower along it, behind it as well, so I think it shouldn't be too much of a worry. Okay. Are there any more of those? No. Is that because I've put them in somewhere else? No, it's because it's run out of... Electronic circuit boards and steel plates. Okay, I'll get some more of those anyway. One of the things I think I was going to do was run an iron and steel belt along here because there are a few things here that... Well, this this requires iron in order to make the grenades. Do I have any iron? Can I give it some more iron? No. This requires steel. And I don't really want to run out of cliff explosives because they are incredibly useful. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I've done it again. I've forgotten about the... Um, the normal car that allows me to get around a bit faster than the uh, construction vehicle. I could have left the construction vehicle right down all the way down at the bottom in the combat area and then come up here and driven around in the normal car just to speed things up a bit. So what do I need? Got, I don't think I need any more bots, I'm okay for those. I'm going to take some more sniper turrets because they're useful. Uh, I was going to take lots of walls, they're being made further north. Oh, that's a lot of turrets I've got there. Take the walls, I'll take the landfill as well and the grenades. Um, and I'll put it all in the car. Coal and some walls and some turrets and some more turrets. And all of this I'll transfer over into the big car. Um, now let's use a yellow belt for the iron and steel belt going over to the other side. I wonder if I should take a belt of be uh, belt of circuits over there as well. I'm going to need to upgrade this. What's the slowest part of the system? It's the electronic component manufacturer. It is actually this individual, this specific machine here that is the slow is the bottleneck of this whole system. I should expand this into a better better version of it. Should I do that now? It'd make it a nice change from what I, from everything I've been doing so far. Um, I don't have the right sort of assembly machines with me though, so maybe I won't. This needs really, really needs a sort function. I have no idea where anything is in here. Especially as I have a f horrible feeling I've lost my um, my other plasma turret in here, because I've only got one in my inventory. I can't even find that there. No, there it is. Either that or I've left it down at the bottom. Oh, I don't know. Okay, the other thing I wanted... Oh, was power poles. No, the other thing I remembered wanting was radars. The other other thing I need is power poles, so let's get those as well. And I can find them. There we go. Definitely need the big ones. Do I need little ones? I'm not sure. Let's take some anyway. I say little ones. It calls them medium. Smallest size that's worth using. Okay, I'm going to build up a, a thing for building radars. Uh, let's do it here, where there's a massive gap in the bus. Or in the stuff that's being done off the bus. Ooh, achieve. 
Okay, so to make a radar, iron gear, circuit board, iron plate, radar, steel, steel, okay. So we need iron gear, this will be the radar two, which needs steel gears. So we need iron and then we need steel. Let's set these up just to make sure I haven't made a mistake. Iron gear, radar one, radar two, steel gears, where are steel gears? Oh, there. Yeah, that's everything because the the rest the, the other two the others come in uh, okay, on belts. Iron there, steel there, circuits across there. Iron is nice and easy because it's right on the edge. Steel, let's see, I want the splitter here, so that needs to be there and there. Yeah, that looks right. And then there. There we go. It's nice and quick. And then probably when I get radar three, I'll be able to build that underneath here because that's going to take some more exotic materials like I don't know this blue stuff or probably not, no probably not tin or lead because they're already used in the circuit boards. But it'll probably take something weird and ex difficult. And uh, don't make too many of those two stacks. Good. No, these stack at fifty, don't they? Let's only have one stack. Oh, okay, yeah, I <laughs> clearly did leave that other um, plasma turret down here. You can see it's um, firing arc. I was considering whether I needed to make my brass construction any bigger because at the moment I've just got this one blast uh, induction furnace and casting machine but it is clearly keeping up very very easily because I'm not using all that much brass. Do I mean brass? Do I mean bronze? I think I mean bronze. Bronze. Um, <laughs> I'm not using very much of it it's just going into the advanced belts down here and the uh, the very advanced grabbers over here so yeah that's that seems to be okay for now. 31 radars that'll do nicely. And I was going to bring over a belt of iron and steel as well. Which belt have I got? Not very much. Got quite a bit there. Let's get some more anyway. That way. There we go. And I was seriously considering taking be um, the uh, these things, circuits, over there as well. Because that was the other thing I seem to be needing quite a lot of. So, yeah, let's do that. Um, if I can work out what I'm trying to do. I'll run them along here, just up from the railway line, I think. And I'll use yellow ones because I've got more of But they're a bit more. I feel like I've got more of them. Make a chunk like that. Now I can do this like this, and then as I drive along, the bots will lay the whole thing for me. Very, very easy. Um, until I get to a awkward bit like that. There we go. <laughs> okay, well that's doing that. Um, I don't know. It probably isn't the most efficient way to do it. Maybe it is? I don't really know. Let's have a think about the future. So, I guess since I'm going to end up down here, I can grab myself another one of those plasma turrets on the way past here. Now, I can, well, if I dump some the right of some of the right components in there I can anyway. So I need to get get rid of these nests here, probably that one as well, and then whack a wall across here. That's reasonably straightforward. They do just about meet with a vertical line. Um, and then come around and just pick up these survive these stragglers around all the way around here and probably those ones down there as well. Then it's a case of uh, I left a car there, probably left a car there. Uh, then it's a case of picking up these two natural gas areas here. Um, and then thinking about what I need next. The next thing is probably going to be those red circuits in order to get the blue science up and running. Blue science is something I've been neglecting for quite a while now and it's something I definitely need to produce. Sulfur I have, engine units I can make, electronic circuit boards, I've got solder, I've got electronic components. Circuit boards are, oh no they're difficult. <laughs> this is going to require some further sort of looking up through the ingredients lists and trying to decide. So that one's, that's easy. Copper tin, ferric chloride. Hmm. This looks challenging, should we say. How do you, there's a lot of things running. Oh, okay, I can use an electrolyzer on saline water, which is a, something I have somewhere. Was it, was that being produced here? Was this making saline water? No, mineralized water. What about this? Where's my mud washing facility? Here it is. Is that saline water? That's saline water. Okay, so if I start capturing this, I can potentially train it down here? I don't know. Hmm. But at least if I get this or I can turn or I can just turn water into saline and purified, that's might be easier. Uh, do that down here, I guess, fairly fairly simply. Okay, so that's that salt. So I can make turn water into saline water, saline into chlorine. Chlorine and, uh, and hydrogen from the previous step, conveniently, into hydrogen chloride. And let's hold some iron ore from somewhere. Do I? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, that's challenging but manageable, I think. And then the circuit. Oh, that was the. No. Yeah. Okay, that was that was for the circuit board. 
and the transistors require a plastic bar, which I've got now, silicon wafer, which I, well, yeah. I'm going to spend some time off camera drawing up another diagram of everything I need for this and where it all comes from and where it all goes and yeah, hi, Glavin. Um, didn't do a very good job of that, did they? Oh, well. Right. Um, I wanted some more of these turrets, so let's give that some resources. What? Okay, that requires a lot of steel. Let's just snake this around all the things that need it, shall we? So there's that, and oh, I'm going to split that, and that all require stuff from this belt. I don't want to make too many plasma turrets because, as discussed previously, they are rather expensive. Yeah, some of those, and some of those. Um, wow, it's taken an enormous quantity of circuits as well. Yeah, let's have this um, brought in by the belts rather than by uh, rather than just emptying my pockets every time I want another one. Am I going to wish I brought? More underground belts. Oh, I've got some in here. I've got 50. That should do. <clears throat> okay, I've got a total of three of those now. That'll do. Ah, those trains are full. Nice. And that's just filling up the um, uh, doohickeys. Boxes. Uh, yeah, boxes. Chests. Alright. Don't know how that train track got damaged. Must have been a uh, biter attack, I think. Come on, then. Get in. Ah, there's a pylon in the road. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't think that would have the range, but I thought it was worth a try. <laughs> so that's what it's going to repair. I think I'm not going to build up a full defensive wall across here, because there's no point. As soon as I've got rid of these bases, I'm going to have a proper wall over here. So this is just going to be a little um, one to protect my big guns while they're taking out these sort of things. So I need to have one of those about there. There's no point in having those pylons. In. Oh, yes, there is. We need pylon power down here for the plasma turrets. But it'll take out all the worms, at least. Well, nearly all the worms. I can't quite reach the last two nests, which is a little bit annoying. I'll just have to put another one on the other side of this um, thing, like that. Get a bit of saturation plasma fire going in there, and we will make very short work of this base, I think. <laughs> I'm sure the most vanilla Factorio turrets will shoot more carefully and not all attack the same thing at the same time and waste ammunition. Come on. That's better. Direct. Excellent. Right. Pick those back up again. Reclaim that much, I think. Uh, but let's not let's untag that, because that's, otherwise I'll just end up destroying it at some point. Oh, I suppose I'll do this bit manually as usual. That wasn't bad, especially given I was using the rubbish ammunition. This one's going to be slightly... Oh, harder. This one's going to be a bit harder because they're coming in from a sort of a funny angle up at the top. So if I do my normal um, turret thing, the top turrets are going to get the brunt of the um, abuse. But I think that's unavoidable, sadly. Oh, no. So to let me overwrite a completely unrelated thing, but not a slightly different version of that. So yeah, what I'm complaining about there is that if you if you try if you draw, accidentally draw a, um, a belt over the ghosts of the grabbers, inserters, then it doesn't it doesn't over it doesn't draw over them. No, sorry, it does draw over them, but if you draw it over a belt because you're trying to change the direction the belt points in, it doesn't over overdraw it. Right. It's slightly out of range. Never mind. <laughs> I am of course on the wrong side of this. Have I finally run out of grey belts? I think I have. That was a little premature. I haven't got the turrets load armed and what re running yet. Okay, that's the initial attack, initial wave dealt with. <laughs> Nearly everything. Don't know if this is going to work. Perhaps having the um, plasma turret at turrets out like this without proper support from the bullet turrets is unwise. But we'll see. They seem to be holding their own pretty well, if not quite that far. Yeah, that's going pretty well. Oh, <laughs> it was until the um, pylon got taken out in an unfortunate. Um, splash damage accident. Okay. Oop, well spotted. That's going pretty well. Um, about here is probably where I'm going to put my wall, I think. There, and from down to about here. Okay, so a tiny bit further. Level with the edge of this dark mark. Doesn't really seem to show up on the ground. <laughs> oh, okay, it does a bit. Alright. So to there. There. So I've put in guns like that. Pick up all these. Right, let's bring the, um, construction vehicle over and start get, start work on that. Like that. So this is going to actually be my final front line, I think. Oh, it's not going well. <laughs> Have I run out of burner inserters? Oh, shit. Um, 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 um. 
Yes, I ran out inserters in the um, construction vehicle. It's ridic ridiculous reason to nearly lose everything. <sighs> right. I am fighting a war on two fronts now, which is a bit silly, but I think it's going to be okay, given that I've already got the attention of this base up here. Also, they're coming in uh, They're coming in on the end of a row of turrets, which isn't ideal. If they come in perpendicular to the turrets, then you can bring enormous amounts of firepower to bear on them, and you can absolutely slaughter them. But if they come in on the end of a row like this, then it's a lot less effective, because you can only have one or two turrets actually attacking them at a time. What the hell? Oh, crap. Let's go over here, so it's behind the um, cliff and it might not get noticed, <laughs> or it might. These plasma turrets seem to be quite tough, they can take a lot of abuse before that without um, getting destroyed, so I don't feel too bad about leaving it there on the front line and not paying quite enough attention to it. Okay, it's got most of the stuff in its area of effect now. <laughs> what? Why does that not have any electricity? Oh! Oh, that one did get blown up. <laughs> Just after I was saying how tough they were and how... Unlikely they were to get blown up. Yeah, they got blown up. Yeah, that's bad. They can't support each other properly with one missing like that. So I'm down to two now. Uh, that's a shame. <laughs> Didn't say. It's hard to tell what's left. There's two spawners up here, definitely. That's where all of these spitters are coming from. Maybe we're better off just attacking a bit more directly. Like that. There we go. Oh, there's a few few worms left. One over there. Can you get it? I think so. Yes. Excellent. I think that's that nest dealt with. And I've almost got my um, defensive line up here that I, that I was trying to build. Let's see, if I go to there, and then I use the landfill to create a sort of a... How wide does it need to be? Yeah, that wide. <laughs> um, let's see what's there. Okay, that's a turret. Across like that, and then put in another chunk of defences like that. I can't have that one or that one there, though. Have that. And then we'll leave one of these here as well to soften up any incoming attacks. We'll stick a radar up here as well, so I can see if the attacks are coming. And then we need an enormous quantity of dragon's teeth over here as well, so where have I got some nice heavy dragons? Down here. Oh, I can't copy that. Um, no, copy. Chunk of that. Not quite right, but it'll do. Put some of this out there. Nope, not like that. Like that. And this is somewhere where I think it's actually worth having this heavier level of defence. But you not have forgotten. I've not put in a solid wall first. Uh, caught on something. Yeah, and if we leave these two plasma turrets here, I think that'll provide that extra bit of heavy fire, heavy firepower that'll keep this area safe. I'm going to nip up and gather up all these alien drops. Oh, I'm probably going to get killed by those. Yes. Those, I take it, are just out of range of my plasma turrets then. Do I have any left? No, I don't. I've left them both here. And I feel I should probably finish these bases off completely. There's no point in leaving one worm behind that's going to come back and get me later. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need the full level of, um, what do you call it, um, dragon's teeth the whole way up. So further down here, I'm just going to have like, two, three rows like that. Seems reasonable. Not sure. Seems fair, and I think. Now what are they building? Okay, I drove a bit further north. Right. <laughs> now we get to the point where the belt's going the wrong way. Uh, There we go. Sealed in now. So, nothing can get me, or at least if it does, if anything does get in, I'll at least have a warning because my uh, walls will get blown up. Of course, what will probably happen is I'll be in combat at the time and, I'll, and there'll be so many things getting blown up already that I don't notice it happening. But in theory, at least, I can't get anything destroyed without me yet. I can't get invaded without it being really obvious to me. And I don't need any of these anymore. Right, we're nearly there now. That's most of the aliens gone from inside this area I'm trying to claim. There's about three nests remaining. And I'm going to go back and get some more plasma cannons. I, I did fully deliberately leave those ones behind up there because I reckon that I may well get attacked from that direction and I intend to keep that area as claimed territory or as, as a border for quite a long time. I, you never know, it might happen that I decide that I want to build... I do want to expand out that that way fairly soon, and I end up just ripping it all up. But my current plan is to at least keep that area for a good while. Oh, sorry, keep that area as the um, as the front line for a good while, and not really, and not really push out any further. Because I think 
I've got a decent amount of space here to use for any building and I, I need to do and it's conveniently close to the base and I'll probably expand downwards as I need more more space probably so having slightly better defenses up here seems like a good idea especially given that it's first it's a corner and corners are harder to defend because the enemies come in on the pointy bit and also there's this a big nest here there's a small one here there's another big one over here and a small one here so I think there's a pretty good chance of getting quite big attacks coming in from this direction over the next <laughs> few days I suppose probably of actual game time um, so it makes sense to keep that area defended what I don't need anymore is this massive wall all the way along here so I should probably pick that up but I'm not sure I can really be bothered it's just gonna take far too long and probably isn't worth it oops of course if I do that then all my shiny new um, plasma defenses will go down isn't it so let's not come on boss get back in the vehicle okay next task get some more laser uh, plasma turrets Two. <laughs> oh, it's run out of alien goo balls. There you go, have some more alien goo balls. I'm not going to park on the railway, that's uh, <laughs> stupid. Right, have we got any more of these? Yeah, I guess we have. Let's get three of these um, plasma turrets, should be enough, I hope. Right, from here. Oh, goes out like that. The thing is, we already have a smattering of the, uh, the biters quite a long way away from their base, so they're going to already be in the way. Let's try killing them. Killing off the ones that are here and shouldn't be. So I need to get my turrets to about here. Sort of defensive line here. Yeah, one of those sorts of defensive lines. And if we drive over with the construction vehicle, it should get built very, very quickly and then be, be ready to start attacking almost immediately. So some backup from here though, while it's happening like that. Okay, that's a good defensive line and an offensive line. <laughs> no, it's, it's all slightly out of range for that, isn't it? There we go. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> they do take a while to cycle, these um, plasma turrets. So whilst they can do an enormous amount of damage with one shot, and over a fantastic range, it takes them quite a while to be ready for the next one. But I suppose that's that's balance, isn't it, really? If they if they fired as fast as the machine gun turrets with this amount of power and range, they'd be massively overpowered. There's no point having that one right back there. Let's have it on the front line. Oh, come on. Stop shooting at the same time. That's better. Now we can get that extra bit of range. Good. Now we do that again down here. So I realised the last few episodes have been very, very combat heavy, and that might not be, re might not really be what you were expecting when you signed up for a Factorio stream. Um, but it, it's got to that point. I suppose it's that point in the game where I've developed a weapon that is powerful enough to actually allow me to clear out some space. So I've been very much doing that, and so I'm getting to the yeah. I, I'm I'm now at the point where I've I've cleared out almost as much space as I need. I feel like I'm almost done with the combat. Once I've finished off dealing with this, these nests inside the area I'm trying to claim, then I'll um, I'll stop and I'll I'll start actually building stuff again and, and working on the developing the next levels of technology and so on. Uh, but that said, I mean, oh, I've run out of <laughs> burner inserts again. No, oh, it's because I keep picking them up when I do the um, demolitions myself. I keep picking them up and shoving them into my inventory rather than putting them back into the uh, into the construction vehicle. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, it's. Um, it's something that's been has needed to be done in order to get everything defended properly and all this built up and, and get me some extra space to build out into. And to be honest, the, the biter combat is an important part of Factorio. It's the thing that stops it just being a complete, complete sandbox type game. Um, and it adds a bit of a bit more challenge, because if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the biter combat, you have absolutely nothing to stop you just going out and building things in your own in your own time, wherever you want, whenever you want. And, and so it's I think it's an important part of the game, but I am fully aware that it's been a bit more than just a little part of the game recently. I've been doing enormous amounts of combat. It's, but yeah, that's nearly up, and I have I fully intend to get back to um, building and puzzling over the overly complicated recipes in um, in Angel Bob's very soon. And hopefully that, and I hope that's what you want. If you're um, if there are other parts of the game that you're interested in, and you have been and you've been enjoying the um, combat perhaps and uh, yeah let me know and I can't say I'll necessarily do more of it I'll keep but I um, I could spend more time talking about what I'm doing perhaps discussing my strategies and, and how the combat's going and, and why I'm doing things maybe not and uh, that might keep that part of the video a bit a bit slower rather than the rather than sort of having the fast forwarding and so on so yeah let me know how what you what you what you think which bits you enjoy which bits you think are a bit whether if it's just too much too much combat, too much building, too much staring at FNEI, and you'd rather I just shut up and skipped over those bits and got on with the, the actual construction, then yeah, let me know. Um, 
I'm happy to tweak the playstyle a bit as as suits the um, the interest of the people who are watching the stream. Because well, why wouldn't I? It's uh, it's not just the stream isn't just for me. It's for uh, for, your, for you to enjoy as well, and I hope you do enjoy it, even if it's just lobbing balls of blue energy out at the uh, bite. It's like no, that one spotted me. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it again from the same place. What went that? Oh, huh. Um, yeah, there goes one of my plasma turrets. <laughs> um, I don't have any more of those. I only brought three. <laughs> <laughs> now that one's blown up, it's um, obviously I can't. It's gonna, yeah, <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Put one down here. Um, well, I um, I got lost them. I don't want to build an. I don't really want to build another wall of bullet turrets because it feels it's just boring, <laughs> to be honest. Put that there and that there and see how that goes. That's about. To, ooh, don't pull up the power poles. You need those. Ooh, that was a bad place to put that one. At this rate, I'm going to end up with a ring of. Power, cape, power poles all the way around the outside of their base and just dropping turrets in on one side or the other until it gets too much attention. Like that. But still, that does seem to have worked. Where are they going? Okay, not a problem anymore. Good. Um, might not have been the most orthodox way of um, taking out the biters, but it seems to have worked. Now I need to get rid of all of this. This always ends up with ridiculous amounts of ammunition in my inventory, of course. And coal as well, I guess. I should go back to the factories and dump it back in there so it finds its way back out onto the belt rather than trying to make fresh ammunition for all of this stuff. I don't need this either. This can go. <sighs> oh, three more to do. Ah oh, yes, the other thing I wanted to put along here was radar because I know I can't see this area. Um, that's interesting. Oh, right, of course. If I get a radar out, I start thinking about this. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. So I'll put one of these. Just start... Oh, I'll start now, I'll start here. Get some radar coverage up. Should come back and pick up some of those turrets at some point. Oh, look, an abandoned car. I wonder who left that there. There's that plasma turret I left behind. What are you building? Oh, the wall. Okay. Fair enough, the wall doesn't need building. <laughs> Put that there, is it immediately going to get attacked? Probably. Grab some of these while the um, wall gets built up. <laughs> Run out of um, slow belts again, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know, there's so much stuff in. Oh, trouble. Get out of here. Yeah, I know, I'm blowing up my own stuff. Don't care. Why are they built? What? Where are they going? Also, where are my other. Oh, they'll be down here somewhere. They're in here somewhere, won't they? There we go. Hmm. This is a little bit more um, challenging. Let's see. Any more grow belts? Not really. Or at least. Right, that's the ammunition going through. Let's have a look. Yeah, one of those might do nicely. Put it in there. Put it there. Okay, that should be a. A defensible position. Coming slowly with the bots from the north. Well, she doesn't. Yeah, coming from further north, then they won't spend all their time trying to rebuild the, the wall. Yeah, about there. Another burst. Put that in too soon. <laughs> Plasma turret should have waited until the um, the normal turret wall was completed, so they didn't wake the biters up too much. Never mind. Doesn't make a lot of difference. Now these are all guns hot. That can go in as well. What are we doing for range? Okay, so we can take out some more of these spawners. We just need to kill the biters quickly enough to, for the plasma, to get plasma turrets to shoot at them. But let's take that one, put it down here because there's much more, then much more needed at this end. Well, one more hit on that and it'll be gone. There we go. Now we do so what's left. Okay, they've got a lot of spawners down here. There's another three of them. So there's, that means it's going to be fairly thick. Um, lots and lots of biters trying to get through. Some power poles. Coming from over here, because otherwise I'll end up doing sort of friendly fire incidents again. That always sucks. Finish it. Good. That was too close for comfort. I can tell because I heard it. Right. That's that area done. Let's finish off the wall and pick up some of the turrets as usual. Yeah, that'll do, I think. It's like an appropriate amount of defences. Building the whole thing? No, not quite. Okay, after all that gratuitous slaughter, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Um, there's not much left to do in this area, just to finish off this one little patch here and I uh, missed, missed some on the way past over there. So I need to take out those two uh, little areas. Um, and then this whole area is mine. I might do a little bit of tidying up, perhaps along this, um, all these gun turrets along here that aren't needed anymore and, and down the middle as well before the next episode. But for now, I think that's probably a good, that's quite a good episode. I've just had, um, things have gone quite well this time. As I was saying earlier, it's been a lot of going out and shooting stuff and not a huge amount of building things. But I hope it's still been interesting and you've um, you've enjoyed the episode anyway. And I'll um, in the next episode, I'll be looking into those, uh, those red circuit boards. And that's going to be a lot of puzzling and a lot of thinking about complicated designs and how to build all kinds of things I don't entirely understand. So 
that's going to be um, interesting and, yeah, a bit of a challenge. I hope you'll join me for that. I'll see you next time.